Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. I'm having a spot of tea. You understand. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us here on the channel where we try to have a little bit of outboard fun and stuff. Um, and uh, I had been beset by a few uh, shop disasters, but I'm slowly getting it back organized where I can at least function, where I have what I call flow. 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 That's where this go. That's where this go. This where that go. That where this go. This will get a flow. Every place a thing. Everything a place. You understand. So I'm kind of getting there, and then I've got all kind of other projects going. But wanted to get back on this little cutie, little cutie, five and one half, nineteen and sixty three of the year of our Lord. Evan Rue, five and one half. Um, I think this little motor, well, I know it's been setting for decades. Um, I've already drilled a couple holes in the transom deal thing and just shot some tri-flow in there and whatever and break free or whatever it was. PB blaster. I blasted her. I blasted her. Um, but I need to do it some more. Um, so there's some cosmetic stuff, but who knows what other loops this thing might throw at me. Um, I did notice as I was putting the recoil back on one of the supports for it that it actually bolts to, um, on the intake is broke, missing, and I never even noticed it when I took it off. So... Got to deal with that. We got to deal with it. We'll fix it. We will repair it. So, we're going to get back on this little cutie. So, let's get at it. Okay, if you watch my spark checky right about here, you should see it spark. That's on the top cylinder. <laughs> So we got it good on that one. Let's try this guy now. This will be the bottom cylinder right in there. I got nothing. So let me see. This thing didn't feel like it went all the way up in there either. Come on, you. So, we got good, hot, sparky top and bottom. That's good. All right, so I got the screws out of the carburetor. Uh, probably don't need to. Let, let's see. That's pretty clean in there. Man, everything, the float, I don't know if you can see it under there or not. It's working good. It, I swear the gasket even looks new. I'm going to spray a little uh, intake cleaner and so forth in the passages. Blow it out with a little compressed air, and I think that's all I'm going to do to it. I'll take out the... Uh, load you up. that way I can get some intake cleaner everywhere but then this thing's really clean that's good that's good don't forget your little spacers and all you got spacers back there there they are. 
Yeah, well, this thing's pretty clean. Okay. I like it when I see them that clean. little sticky there so it's gonna be hard for me to <laughs> this thing was only yeah only about a quarter or a turn if that out I think it should be a little more than that Not too bad. Okay, I sprayed her with some intake. And now we're gonna give it the old compressed air.
Pepper hole. Nothing. So, what does that mean? That's wide open throttle right there. You see. That's it. That's wide open. What I'm going to do now is pop off this thermostat cover. You don't just sniff around. I think I might know what's going on here. I don't know exactly the cause, but the symptom. I kind of recognize has nothing to do with the thermostat, but I just want to check that. Um, I'm getting no discharge out of the blubber hole. But yet, the top of it's, you know, I can keep my hand here for really as long as I want. Oh yeah, she's looking pretty, pretty not too good in there. <laughs> little on the shirty side, may I say. Yeah, she's a little on the salty side in there. I'm surprised to save my gasket. Somebody, oh yeah. Well, that don't mean it ain't working just because it's salty. But it probably ain't working. No, that ain't working. See all that salt in there? See it? Big guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I flush my motor. Every time I use it, I flush it. I flush it always. <laughs> okay, so. The old T-stat, it's a total rusty chunk of garbage. What the hell is that? What is it? I don't know what that is. But the water might have been making it up to the thermostat, but she's complete. See the steam? She's completely clogged. So, I'm going to blow it out with a little air. Put that stat top back on. But, stat or no stat, I believe it should be discharging. It was plugged though. You know what? I'm going to start it without the cover on it. See if it'll push some of that crap out of the top. You want to stand? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. And see what the results are. pump is all working and I've got to turn on the sucker.
Like I said, I was going to pull them plugs just to see what they look like. Can you see the difference in them two plugs? That was the bottom one. That, that plug ain't firing. This top plug is was firing. You see how it's nice and clean? Look at that bottom one. Something is amiss there. I'm going to put them in there and ground them just see. If okay, it sure looked like it's firing good to me, but boy, it sure don't. Yeah, let's see if it seems a little weak that time. Look like they're both firing, but I'm gonna get another one. These are J6Js. I'm gonna find one and try another one. I'll be back. All right, we're gonna see if that made a difference. I put a, a a different spark plug, not a new one, but a different one in the uh, in the bottom. Let's see if we get anything different or not. more RPMs to it and then it went right back to nothing. Pop them out again. Let's see what that bottom one looks like. Again you can look at the this was a clean dry spark plug. Now it's all black and oily. Here's the top one, still nice and clean. It doesn't smell like it's getting water in there. What I think's going on is I think possibly, even though I'm getting spark to it, it ain't a hot enough spark. Hmm. Interesting.
there we have it. Um, head scratcher, huh? All right, so we've got good hot spark on both cylinders. But you know, not necessarily. We've got spark I've only ever had it happen once, but we've got spark to the very tip end of the high lead of the spark plug wire. That don't necessarily mean it's sparking in that cylinder. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull out these plugs and look at them again. Just see if one of them's all oil and wet, which, like I said, just because you've got spark up to the spark checker don't mean you've got it in the cylinder. All right, the other indication that it's given me, knowing that it's got good spark, or seems to, the carburetor high and low needles jets adjustments don't seem to do really anything. So it could be a needle or a, uh, a needle or a jet problem in there. But I had one come in here many years ago, over five years ago, doing the same thing, just like this one. And I'm not going to tell you what it ended up being, because I want to hear what you think is going on here. Okay, at first we didn't have any water coming out of the blubber hole. We opened the T-stat, took the thermostat out, which is completely roached and salt encrusted, got rid of it just temporarily to see if that improved the water flow down at the blubber hole, and it did. It uh, started blubbering the way it was supposed to. So we're circulating water really good. It could be a fuel issue, that sediment bowl. It's been a while since I've done one of these with the old glass sediment bowls and so forth, but even on the newer ones, two strokes anyway, that sediment bowl, they're made out of plastic now, but they normally stay about, you know, at least half full. That one's down to about like an eighth of an inch. But when I squeeze the bulb manually to fill the sediment bowl, the RPMs don't seem to increase. So that's another test I could do is I could bypass that sediment bowl altogether. But I'm using clear Tigon fuel lines on this thing and I can see the, the, the fuel moving through the system pretty well. The only weak spot seems to be that sediment bowl. Could it be clogged up in there? Pop. Could be. Possible. You know. So then it could be that I just didn't clean the carburetor even though it looked pretty clean it still might be a garbage rater and needs to come all apart be put in my ultrasonic cleaner maybe even soaked in some solvents overnight then through the ultrasonic cleaner so we got a lot of things we could try but this thing is acting like it's doing something and out of all the years I've been doing this I only remember twice that I had this going on and uh, yeah so let me know what you think it is because something is amiss so it's probably getting a little long so I'm gonna scratch my head a little bit on this one maybe pop them plugs out look at them let me know what you think down below and uh, what would you try next. So, that's going to be a wrap on this. Thanks for watching. One more hat from Kodiak. More vids are coming on Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass.